Hello, welcome back to the channel. Join me today. We're on top of the wild Welsh hills, enjoying this glorious sunset. And today we're going to explore the world of prepping and survival and discuss the number one decision in emergency preparedness. And that's bugging in versus bugging out. So let's dive into it. Yes, I'm on top of the hills here. I'm spending a night out under the stars. I'm reviewing a few bits and bobs and spending a night in the tent. And um, it's a glorious early summer evening and a fantastic uh, sunset. I couldn't get the words out. And I thought, right, I'll do a quick talk video about one of the decisions you make if you're into emergency preparedness. And that's bugging in or bugging out. What's the pros and cons uh, between them? So emergency preparedness is always important regardless of the crisis or situation that you're preparing for. As you know, it involves taking proactive steps or measures to anticipate or mitigate any potential impact of an emergency crisis or a disaster. And there's always been that debate on whether to bug in or bug out, isn't it? What's the pros and cons of each? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at both. So first, let's talk about bugging in. We're staying put. So bugging in, if you don't know already, refers to staying in, in one current location, such as your home or a designated safe space during an emergency or disaster. So here's my pros and cons about bugging in. So we'll start off with the pros or the advantages of bugging in. And the one major advantage of bugging in is that you're already f in the familiar surroundings, aren't you? Your home. Where am I? You have the advantage of knowing the layout of your home and uh, the resources you got there. And it can make it easier to defend. Magazine! Yeah! Or sustain yourself during an extended period of time or crisis. The bugging also allows you to take advantage of pre-existing preparations. You might have stockpiles of food, water, other essential supplies. You get any food? And being at home uh, or your bugging location, you can access them easily and have a higher level of comfort and security. Like I say, it's easy to defend and you've got all your belongings and your essential supplies there in one place, haven't you? This is mine. Mine! Furthermore, bugging in enables you to maintain a sense of community. You might have neighbors who are like-minded you might have a local community of preppers or survivalists you are now part of a very special community and you can rely on these neighbors or like-minded individuals for support cooperation or pooling resources and skills you have the skills now another benefit for bugging in is you're not risking your life or limb traveling across the country um, with your loved ones looking for refuge you might have small children or you might have someone in the family who's got mobility problems how much further is it? so leaving the safety and the comfort of your home um, would add extra risks if you was to um, bug out. Now bug it in, it does have its own drawbacks as well. So uh, if your location becomes compromised or unsafe, you might find yourself trapped and unable to leave. Especially natural disasters like floods or wildfires. Yeah, they can render your house uninhabitable. So bug it in will not be an option. We can't stay here anymore. Now there could be civil unrest or society is totally broken down. Then yourself and your home and, and your belongings are at risk, aren't they? Yeah, when you've got desperate people looking for supplies, desperate people tend to do desperate things. Desperate times, desperate measures, desperate Englishmen. Then staying at one location may not be the answer. Now another downside to bugging in is resource limitations. While stockpiling supplies is an advantage to bugging in, it's not without its drawbacks. Now your house or your bugging location, it might have limited space, uh, only a finite resources and a potential for depletion over time. That can leave you vulnerable in a long-term crisis or when unexpected events exceed your preparations. And if by some miracle none of that happens, eventually I'm gonna run out of food. Additionally, bugging in can come with its own sense of isolation, especially if external communication or support systems are disrupted. Hello, hello, is anyone out there? And um, this may limit your ability to gather information, seek help, or coordinate with outside resources. So yeah, there was some of the pros and cons of bugging in. Now what about bugging out? Things get too hairy. We do have to bug out. Now what is bugging out? Now bugging out is basically leaving your current location and seeking a safer environment, a so-called bug out location. We gotta go now. Now here's a few pros and cons about bugging out. So bugging out um, allows you to grab your bag, your bug out bag, and uh, move away from potential danger quickly. Um, this can be beneficial if your current location is prone to natural disasters, uh, civil unrest, or even other immediate threats. And being mobile gives you the flexibility to adapt to changing situations and reducing the risk of harm to yourself or your loved ones. Bugging out also provides the opportunity to find a safer location with more abundant resources. We have plenty of food, 
oxygen and fresh water to sustain us until the storm is over. You can search for areas less affected by disasters, or such as a designated safe zone, or predetermined bug out location, or even stay in with family and friends. Bugging out also allows you to adapt and respond to changing circumstances. You can stay ahead of potential risks, threats, making strategic, 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 making strategic, making strategic, making decisions based on real-time information. And I think we can all agree that I nailed it. Bugging out can also offer a uh, change of scenery, distancing yourself from uh, immediate threats. Cities can quickly become centers of chaos during emergencies. Bugging out to more rural or remote locations, you can escape from any um, crisis, civil unrest, or dangerous situations. I mean, it's a mess out there. So another advantage for bugging out is community support. When bugging out, you could have the opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals who are facing similar challenges. This can foster a sense of community, enable the sharing of resources, skills, knowledge, making it easier to cope with the crisis at hand. Plus, you could have a meeting place of like-minded people, predetermined as and when a crisis arises. You are welcome here only if you contribute. Now, bugging out, it's not about its challenges as well. It requires careful planning and preparation, including having a well thought out evacuation plan. And yeah, my plan is, you know, to make a plan. Knowing multiple routes and having essential supplies ready to go. This is where a bug out survival barrel or bug out cache could come into play. So you'd have to carry all your gear so you can stash it along a route to your location. Bugging out also involves navigating through potentially chaotic situations, such as crowded evacuation routes, um, busy cities, built up areas. Plus a lack of information and infrastructure could pose a challenge in reach a safe location. So yeah, if you imagine if society's broken down, trying to get through a city with thousands of people all trying to get out. It's chaos out there, no good to anybody. Now another downside to bugging out is obviously it's physically demanding, isn't it? Especially if you're traveling um, on foot or there's limited transportation and it may involve leaving certain comforts behind because um, you can't carry anything, like I said, or even loved ones, especially if you've got mobility problems. You can't just leave me here! So yeah, that could have an emotional um, effect on you as well, and on your decision making. That's fucked up. So choosing between bugging out and bugging in is a deeply personal decision that often depends on the, on various factors such as the nature of the, the threat, your location, available resources, plus your level of preparedness. You joke with them about me, you make fun of me, but I'm prepared for any- So assessing the pros and cons of each approach will help you make a more informed decision based on your circumstances. Ultimately, there's no one size fits all solution and the best strategy may involve a combination of both. Most I would say bug in, in most cases, with a bug out plan um, if everything goes pear shaped. But just remember, being prepared is key. Maintain essential supplies, have a good stock of essential items that can stay you and your family for a certain period of time. So there we are guys, there's the pros and cons of bugging in and bugging out. Um, I hope you found this information helpful. Well, um, not really. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Hit the notification bell. I'm gonna enjoy this sunset. If you wanna see some more videos, check that one out. Or that one. Thanks for watching. Don't be scared, be prepared. I'll see you next time. All the best.